So with just a laptop and a free door, you can create music that sounds professional without even spending a penny. But which one is actually worth your time today i'm going to be testing the major free door to see which one is the best in 2025 i'm going to be making a beat in each seeing what's the easiest to use which one has the best sounds and what one is going to make you sound professional by the end of this video you're going to find out which one is the best one for you to use if you're new to the channel welcome i'm ocean i'm a music producer i've worked with some of the biggest artists in the uk and now i'm documenting my journey as an electronic artist and bringing you along with me so Last time I did this, the results shocked me. <laughs> That's not sounding good at all. Like one of the worst beats I've ever made. A lot has changed since then though. I've seen a few more new free doors pop up. So we're gonna throw them into the mix today. Let's get into it. First door that we're trying out today is Luna by UAD. UAD, Universal Audio, they're very renowned for their plugins, their VSTs, they make high quality stuff. So let's check this out. I've never used this door before. I've got it open right now, so I'm just gonna create. I just downloaded Luna and I noticed it put it right on my main dock. Cheeky. I'm not gonna lie, this looks very, very similar to Pro Tools, but with like a UAD twist, I guess you can say. Let's create something. I'm gonna put the BPM to 140. We're gonna go for a VST, so we open up instrument. And then it gives us a list of all the instruments, all the VSTs that you have. So these are all my VSTs that I've already got installed on my Mac, but let's go for a UAD plugin, Poly Max. So I wanna pencil in a MIDI, but it looks like all the notes are just straight up in the browser view. I guess if you extend it, you can do that, but that doesn't help because still the notes are very big so this is gonna be hard if we was to do chords because you can't actually see like all the notes maybe we can just get rid of this section there we go and i'm gonna throw in a midi from my trap essentials kit so i just want to change that preset instead of it popping up on a vst it's kind of cool that it pops up on the side here Let's just use this one for now. Let's throw some of their plugins on it. I think when you download Luna, it does come with some plugins from UAD. We're going to need some EQ. And let's put some reverb on there as well. So let's move on to the drums. I'm not seeing an easy way to do it in MIDI, so it might just be dragging in the audio clips, which I'm not a huge fan of. I feel like it's a bit time consuming. I did see that if we open up a new instrument, there's an instrument called Shape, which comes with Luna, and they have some drum sounds, but I'm not sure if it's gonna match this vibe. Why is this so hard to do? I think to play it safe, what I'm gonna do is just add in some sounds from my Trap Essentials kit. And then perhaps we can just repeat that over. Command D, come on. Yeah, there we go. And then let's put in a hi-hat. So I'm literally just gonna hold down option and just drag them in place like this. Like I was saying before, I don't really see a way where we can put in an 808 sample and kind of do the MIDI notes. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is open up an instrument and just use a bass from there. Oh, I just realized that's how you change the note length so it can be more visible. So you can make it really small or really thick. So we just keep that bass line real simple. We got the foundations of a beat down. We got melody, clap, hi-hats, bass, four sounds. Not gonna lie low-key kind of a weak beat so when it comes to Luna I'm kind of 50 50 I feel like this has the potential to be an amazing door it's got really good quality sounds and I like that of course you can bring your own VSTs and plugins into it for the most part it's straightforward especially when it comes to creating tracks and selecting stuff but I just don't like the workflow within the actual timeline. It reminds me a lot of Pro Tools. Maybe if you're a Pro Tools user, you're gonna find this super easy, you're gonna enjoy it. And like I was saying before, when it comes to doing drums and stuff, I don't like dragging in the clips individually. I wanna do it as a MIDI. I just don't see that option here. So with each of these doors, I'm gonna be ranking them out of 10. So for Luna, I'm gonna give this 
I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. I think it's got the potential to move up though with some improvements. Let's move on to the next door. So the next free door that I'm going to try out is BandLab. And what I like about this one, it's all online. You don't have to download nothing. There's no software. You go straight to the website, create an account. I'm in mine now. So let's just go and create a new project. This isn't my first time using BandLab. I used it one time before and I did enjoy it. It wasn't too bad. Let's see what it's saying this year though. All right, so we hit with this. Let's go for opening a new track and to be honest with you compared to a lot of the other free doors that I've tried this one is quite simple as soon as you open it up you kind of have an idea of where to start you've got the timeline straight in your view which is nice all your instruments on the left hand side I don't know I'm feeling to switch it up for this one let's go for like maybe like a slower BPM like 90 to make this a little quicker I just dragged in a MIDI file from my treasures kit so let's give it a play might even speed this up a little bit more. Maybe let's try 100 BPM. Let's double time it because I want it to be like dun dun dun. So let's check out what stock sounds they got. What's good about BandLab, they do have a nice little selection of sounds that sound good. Let's go for this electric piano. It sounds like a Rhodes. And if we hit the plus effects, we can add some effects, but I didn't notice this last time. Presets, let's play around with that. Ooh, that sounds cool. I want something that sounds quite reverby. So I'm gonna go for tones. Maybe let's just flick through here, see what we can find. Maybe let's just put a touch of verb. All right, next. I want to put in a bass and I think in their virtual instruments they've actually got a selection of 808s. Let's go for this one, the saturated bass. I just connected my MIDI keyboard and it popped up on the screen which is cool. It's recognised it. Not hearing anything though. MIDI device launch key. Okay, there we go. This sh hopefully should work. There we go. For some reason I didn't record. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Let's just pencil in these notes. Or to make this easier, what we can do, hopefully it's the same shortcut. Let's go and I'm gonna just take out all the top notes. I wonder if there's a way we can just, yes, I like that, simple. So all the notes are stretched out now. So far we've got the melody, we've got the bass line. Let's add some drums to this. And I know they got a whole drum machine section, but I think, first of all, let me just, open up the sampler and I want to add in some of my own sounds. So I'm going to use my Trap Essentials kit and let's go for a room. So I should be able to just drag it in here and then hopefully I can just pencil it in. I am noticing as I'm adding more tracks, I've got what, three tracks on here now and one is being the sampler. It's definitely slowed down the performance a bit. There's a bit of latency from when I press play. Not the most ideal. So we're gonna have a rim pattern like that and we'll just throw in a kick. I'll come back to the kick in a second. I just wanna add in some hi-hats. So let's have a look at what they've got in the drum machine. All right, select pre-made patterns. To be honest, I wanna go from empty. Let's choose this trap kit and then I'm gonna put in some hi-hats. I'd love to throw in some rolls. I'm not really seeing a way how I can make this grid smaller. I might just have to work with what we got. And let's throw in a snare as well. One thing I do want to check out is this band that sounds. They got their own packs in here. So maybe, you know, we could throw in a vocal, see if it fits. So I've selected female vocals. I like that you can play it the same time we're playing the beat. It would be amazing if it would sync straight to our key. I'm gonna just drag this one in. Looks like it time stretched perfectly, which is good. Maybe we could even just cut this section, trim this section. How do we do this? It's cool that they got some AI features though. You could split the drums and everything if there was a drum in here slice s okay 
that's useful to know. And then if we add some effects, some presets again. All right, so this is what we're working with. A little basic beat, but vibey. I've got to say, out of all the doors that I've tried that are free, this one is really easy to use. If you're a complete beginner in making beats, this might be an option you want to look into because pretty much everything is kind of in your face and they have their own sound packs. I see they're moving with the AI wave. I also noticed up here they got a little bit of a mastering thing going on. One thing I would say though to me, for some reason, it moves a little bit slow, which is annoying. If I press play, sometimes it kind of bugs out and there's just crazy latency it could just be my computer i don't really think so though everything else seems to run smooth i'm liking band lab this is a good option for sure for band lab i'm gonna give this a nine out of ten this one's solid just another cool feature about band lab they have their own ecosystem going on here so i mean it's easy to collaborate with people who use band lab i see they got these services by boosting your music distributing it i don't know how useful these are i've never tried it out but something to consider the next free door we're going to try out is soundtrap now it's kind of similar to bandlab in the sense that you don't have to download anything it is a website and you can create your music your beats right there and there which is cool and i have a whole section on education like their tutorials and stuff i don't know if i saw that on any of the other ones but that's cool one cool thing about soundtrap i do have my new exclusive pack on there euphoric rave I guess it is what it says on the tin. Sounds for euphoric grave kind of music. But this isn't a sponsored video or anything. So I'm going to hit music. Let's get started. And I like the layout of this one. It's simple. It's easy in the sense that not much guesswork. All of the tracks will be on the left. Let's how the BPM and stuff is on the bottom here. Let's switch this to like, ooh, let's go for 140. Oh, cool. They got a little preview. I never noticed that before. Let's create something. I hit browse loops and... This whole thing pops up here. I guess this is where you can go into sound traps, sound packs. So I'm gonna test out the loops. This one sounds cool. I like how it matches to the BPM as well. So we don't have to adjust it or anything. It's nice and easy. My pack is called Energy, so I just typed it in here. I wanna find something that can match the synth that I pulled in. All right, so let's drag that one in. On that synth, let's test out adding in some effects. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe we can put that bass line in as like a, a drop. So maybe like a garagey kind of section here. I see there's a pattern maker option here, so I guess it's where we can just throw in some drums. Oh, that's cool. We can actually switch it here. I'm just getting really random with this, throwing in some sounds and seeing how it works, to be honest with you. This is perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. Something to just fade it in. So we've got a little build up going there. In this section, we can just have a switch up. Can't lie, making a beat in Soundtrap, it's been pretty easy. Just as easy as making a beat in Band Lab. Let's just break down what I've made. I've kind of just thrown a bunch of loops together just to get a vibe. It had a nice synth lead, a nice synth that going. One of the most random drops ever. So my rating for Soundtrap, I think I'm gonna give this oof, a 9.1. It's fire. I really like that they're loaded with good sounds already, especially, you know, they got my pack on there. And it's really, really easy to use. The next free door that I'm about to pull up is one that comes free with Mac. And this is GarageBand. I haven't used GarageBand in a very, very long time. It's very similar to the door that I use, Logic Pro. But from what I remember, I think it's way cut down, way more basic. So let's check it out. So we've got GarageBand open right now. It looks very similar to Logic Pro. And I see they got the stock VSTs as well. Let's just open up a piano and I'm just gonna throw in a random MIDI from my treasures pack so let's put that in there and I'm gonna try speed this up let's go for 140 BPM again
The pianos that Apple seems to use, they're so clean, they sound really, really good. I wonder though, can you actually add any effects to this? I'm not really seeing any way apart from the controls that they have at the bottom here. It doesn't seem like you can add in any third party plugins. I guess that's where the limitation is. But you can change the tone, add in some reverb. Let's see if we can turn this into an audio file because then it would be really powerful. The shortcut is control B. Nah, that doesn't do anything. Option B. Nah, we can't do that. It's cool that you can record audio in here. So I think if you was a singer songwriter, this could be a very good option. Drummer automatically plays along with your song. Let's check that out. So they got this cool drum kit thing going on here. I don't want to add my own sounds though. If we want to use our own samples, we're going to have to just drag it straight into the timeline. Can we group them? Maybe that'll make it a lot easier. Nope. I'm so used to logic, I'm trying to find the same shortcuts. We got that as a little foundation going. I did see there was some sort of drum machine in here. Maybe that could make things a little bit easier. Electronic drum kit, but it doesn't look like we can add in our own drums. It just comes with these sounds already in it. Trap door, maybe that could be something. Let's check that out. Okay, let me stop messing around. That's kind of hard though, but the sounds sound a bit too stockish for what I'm trying to go for. This is going to be tedious trying to put in the hi-hats like this, but maybe we just have to do like a very easy kind of bounce. Going from Logic to Garage Band, it definitely feels quite limiting. It's like I've gone from playing PS5 and I've gone back to playing PS2 or something. Let's see what the 808s are saying. I actually just want to use an 808 sample for the bass. The only thing is, I feel like if I do drag this in here, it's going to drag in just the WAV file, but it's not going to allow me to switch the notes to actually make a bass line. So we might just have to do with one of these basses. This is not good options here. We've got an upright bass, a Liverpool bass, which I'm pretty sure is just like a bass guitar. Might even just switch this chord and bring it over. To be honest, it doesn't actually sound too bad. This drum kit thing was saying, maybe they got like some cool percussions and stuff. Maybe we can use that with our hi-hats and our clap. I just noticed too, there's actually no stock plugins. Like we've got some VSTs here, but aside from the effects that are already in the VST, we can't actually change much. We can't EQ the sounds. So yeah, it's a bit disappointing in the sense that it might be a bit too limiting, but let's just throw in a kick. We got a little vibe going. A very, very basic beat, but I am working with the limitations of Garage Band. I think if you want to just get a quick idea down, it's not the worst thing in the world. At least it comes for free preloaded in a Mac. I think where this would probably shine, let's say you play the guitar, you play the piano, you're recording your vocals, this might be the way to go. But in terms of making beats, I feel like Apple are being a little bit stingy with what's included in GarageBand. There should be a little bit more that you sh you could be able to do. I'm gonna have to give GarageBand, I'm gonna say a six out of 10 for this one. So I've tested out four different free doors today. We did Luna, BandLab, Soundtrap, and also GarageBand. I know there's a few more like Cakewalk, but I don't have a Windows to test that out. But if there's any more free doors that you do want me to check out, then leave it in the description below. Out of all the free doors, I think my favorite two are definitely BandLab and Soundtrap. Like I said before, the only thing that was annoying me about BandLab is that it seemed there was a lot of latency. With Soundtrap, I didn't really have that. And it also got very cool communities if you did want to collab with people. But I think the wild card being Luna is also cool too because UAD, they're great for effects, but it has a little bit more of a higher learning curve. It's not as obvious as BandLab and Soundtrap. But once you get over that learning barrier, that learning curve could be a really powerful tool. GarageBand, just get Logic Pro at that point. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you enjoyed this one, then you're definitely gonna love this one. Well, I also tested out three doors a year ago and I tested out some other ones. So definitely go check it out.